Have you ever wanted a really cool original map in Siege? Well, you don't get one because Ubisoft just made yet another military base for us to enjoy. All jokes aside, this is the newest addition to the Rainbow Six Siege map pool, Layer. It is a military base located inside of a big cave. I don't think it's necessarily a bad map, but it just really reminds me of Night Haven, but in a cave. I hate this. I literally just hate everything about this change. I understand that frag grenades were really good and a little overpowered at times, but like, they were just so fun to use. When you cook and aim a grenade with the precision of a god, I will truly miss these moments and never forget about the power that grenades used to hold. The marketplace is interesting. I think it's a cool idea that you can now sell and buy skins that you can't get in the shop anymore. Everything on the marketplace will use R6 credits. It would be cool in the future if you could sell skins for real money like in other games such as CSGO. It would be really funny if someone with an old account sold a beta or alpha skin for R6 credits. These game modes will consist of attacking AI defenders, a target drill mode replacing T-Hunt, and a landmark one which will teach you about all the different locations and call-outs in different maps. I think these are pretty cool additions to the game and I'm glad to see that the AI are getting a huge rework. I'm hoping that with the new landmark run mode, my teammates will actually give me good callouts now instead of He's behind there, he's over there, to the right, to the left The new operator, Tabaro I probably said that wrong, but it's fine His gadget is a canister filled with liquid nitrogen and liquid oxygen, and thrown the liquids mixed together to freeze everything around them, including drones, gadgets, and people's footsteps. Tabaro is the newest addition to the Wolfguard squad. He is Portuguese and his outfit has a military grade diving gear similar to Wamai. Tabaro's loadout includes Warden and Velk's MPX, Maverick's AR-15, and the P-226. For gadgets, he has the options of a C4 or a Proximity Alarm. When you are inside the affected area as an attacker, your footsteps can be seen on the floor and the roof below you. You are also slowed down when inside the gadget's radius, similar to Wamai's gadget. These aren't all the new changes coming in Operation Deep Freeze, but they're the ones that I wanted to mention the most. I guess it's pretty cool that console players are finally going to be able to hip fire lean. Let me know what you guys think of Operation Deep Freeze down in the comments.